Hey, my name's Mark. I'm from the Chaco Outdoors in Vanderhoof, British Columbia. And we just received our first shipment of the Garmin Zero C1 Pro. Uh, it's a small chronograph. Um, we're going to compare it today against the lab radar for consistency in their readings. I'm going to use the uh, test rifle today is a, a Ruger 5.56 Scout rifle. And I'll be shooting some 55 grain Winchester ammunition. So we're going to fire 10 rounds downrange and compare the readings between the units and see how they stack up to each other. All right, so 10 rounds fired. Uh, we have an average velocity on the Garmin of 2869.5 feet per second, and the average velocity on the lab radar, 2858 feet per second, which is about 12 feet per second slower than the Garmin. Uh, there was one shot. On so there was one shot on the lab radar, which measured considerably slower than the Garmin. Uh, shot six in the string registered at 2707 on the lab radar and on the Garmin was well in the 2800s like the average. Um, one advantage of the lab radar is it does give you downrange velocities out to about 75 yards and the, the oddball shot on the lab radar um, had very similar downrange velocity to another shot that averaged in that 2850 feet per second range. So some hiccup there on the lab radar, which caused the extreme spread to, to be uh, considerably off compared to the Garmin. Uh, extreme spread 197 feet per second instead of 63 on the Garmin. So I'm gonna delete that one shot out of the strings and then I'll just see how the, the, the averages compare. All right, I, uh, I deleted the, the weird shot, the low shot out of the radar, the lab radar, and I deleted it just to keep it consistent out of the Garmin Zero. And now to, to compare the nine shots, the average velocity from the lab radar was 2874. The average speed from the Garmin, 2873. So within one feet per second of each other, uh, the extreme spread, 63 and a half feet per second on the Garmin Zero, and the lab radar suggests a 66 feet per second extreme spread. Standard deviations very similar, 22 on the lab radar, 21 on the Garmin Zero. So very consistent readings between the two products. Definitely liking the new Garmin Zero, 
very easy to use, very easy setup. Uh, overall, just a, a wicked little chronograph. So.